What is up, ladies and mushroom tips? It's been a hot little second since I've uh, been around here, but I wanted to come through and say what's up to y'alls and uh, bring y'alls another fucking little historical rope video. So I scrolled through YouTube as I usually do. And I'm recommended on the side. I was recommended one of my own videos, and it was almost like it was fate telling me to go ahead and do this. And I saw a uh, the good old video, and it's been almost four years. I'm gonna sit arms way out ahead of time. Hey, guy. <laughs> and it's been almost four years since I did this, but the very first McDonald's that I went to a suburban delinquent, literally four years ago. I think that was one of the first videos I even did with him. And um, if you guys are an avid watcher of my motovlogs, you'll remember recently I stopped in there and uh, I forgot what I went in there just to fucking poke my dick out around or something. But I remember going in there and talking to the guy and he said they added cases and cases of new things. And re-watching my old video, I realized I had shit audio. I was using my stock iPhone microphone, which is the worst thing to do. It Like, your iPhone mic always focuses on, like, the ambience of the room over, like, your actual voice. So I forgot about this Rode microphone I had called a Smart Lab Plus. And it's literally, like, fucking news broadcaster worthy audio. So we're going to go ahead and revisit these historical ropes and, um... And go ahead and furthermore show all the new things, talk about what's been going on, and just basically show all the goody goody gumdrops. How you doing today, man? Good. Feels good out, perfect day, huh? <laughs> nice bike. Hey, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Have a good one, man. Okay. Ain't no better day to be a construction worker right now. It's like literally like 68 degrees 70 degrees out right now it's like beautiful just to sit out these are days where you just sit outside and enjoy the weather but anyways we're gonna go ahead and uh refill you guys on some historical ropes if you haven't seen that video from four years ago then uh this will all be fresh for you and what we're gonna do is visit the just to refill you guys and recap we're gonna be revisiting the very very first location of the very first mcdonald's and uh i think it's this way and if you guys are unfamiliar with the location and what it is, it's basically a um, museum at this point. And not just some shitty little like hole in the goody hole museum, this is a legit museum. Whoa, hey, hey, easy there, hot rod. Nice jacket, you talk. We're talking tons and tons of things to look at in this place. The only downfall is it's in a really shitty area, but it's San Bernardino, you know, you can't back then San Bernardino was literally beautiful popping there was an air force base at the bottom of the city once that air force base at the bottom of the city closed down I forget what year it was like 50s or some shit or 60s maybe maybe even earlier I'll put the date on the screen of the accurate time of that and then once that happened the uh the whole city kind of went to shit at that point and it took all like a lot of the people out of the city and a lot of families because obviously there's military families and all that jazz all around and uh once the ladies around the city couldn't get them Air Force cream pies, then uh, they went ahead and booked it to another town with a military base, yada, 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 so on and so forth. You guys get the hint. But the guy that works here, he uh, he's still here to this day. Um, he's a really, really nice guy. He's really cool. He uh, always spits them knowledge ropes at your boy when I'm here. So... Um, Hopefully we get to see some cool shit that we missed last time and I went ahead and skimmed through the last video and noticed I missed a lot. So with all the added shit, we should totally be seeing some new things right here at the very first McDonald's location on 14th and E Street. Sorry, some fucking peeps here. See, this place fucking pulls in some, some peepos. Man, what's right? I've got some Winnebago parking right here. So we're here next to the Winnebago. There's also an Inland Empire Military Museum here, but last I checked, they don't really have too many things in there. But uh, if we've got a little time, we might 
far around in there because I've actually never done a video here and um, they obviously it's a military museum so it's a whole different thing but uh, they got some little trinkets and shit and um, I've been in here before and the guy tells me that all the trinkets and the doodads in here from the military are all donated things from people from the city so it's a pretty local thing here and uh, you know might, around, might just check this place out as well if it's open which doesn't look like it is but we'll find out so let's go ahead and take this helmet off and uh, switch to the uh, lav mic and uh, fucking cooter cam. Yeah. Now we coming at you live in all kinds of HD ropage. Looking at all these ancient, ancient toys and doodads and ancient fucking kids' little merry grounds with 50 year old ass cheese on the seats. One thing I found out, there's a Simpsons mural here somewhere, and I didn't know this, and I thought this was wickedly dope. They have a Simpsons mural somewhere here, and it's actually painted by the artist from The Simpsons, David Ortiz. Where's that at? If I can find it, that is. God damn, I got a fucking spider web all up in my hair. Well, it definitely isn't by this peace car right here. And I didn't say police car, I said peace car. Damn. I straight go fucking initial D up in this bitch. That'd be fire. I'd, I'd, I'd literally drive it just like this in this fucking condition. That'd be dope as fuck. Well, I hope they didn't remove the Simpsons mural because I saw it on some other video of the place. There's actually a few videos. There's one popular video some other guy did on this place and, uh, that's where I kind of found this out. <coughs> we'll find it. And then over here on this side is the original building of the uh, McDonald's, the original McDonald's. It's another thing I didn't know about. I thought that was kind of cool. And I don't know who painted this mural, but they literally got little fucking Easter eggs of uh, things around the town, which is kind of cool. Like right there is a high school I went to, SBHS. I don't even know if I'm pointing at it because it's sunny out. Uh, Norton Air Force Base is the base that was here that I was talking about, where, uh, the ladies were getting those Air Force pies. And, uh, you got the, where fucking, I forgot what the hell this shit was. There was this big ass festival where literally every legendary band you could literally think of played here. Hendrix, Zeppelin, Doors. There's a picture of Jim Morrison at this place, even, ironically. Um, but yeah, there's all that kind of shit here. So I thought that was kind of cool. The world's most detailed mural. Oh, that's kind of cool. San Bernardino history. By Phil Ye. Phil Ye and friends. Phil Ye. Phil Ye. There's all kinds of detail. Gotta get from that. Yeah. Now what's cool about this place is there is tons and tons and tons and tons of so many little uh, trinkets and cool things of like things that happened throughout this, the years and little kids meal things and whatnot like that. A McDonald's ashtray. So like I'm sure like Snoop Dogg was ashing out a blunt on this thing in like the early 80s back when McDonald's was able to do that free steak knife collect a full set i don't think in 2018 though you're gonna really see mcdonald's handing out free knives but um hey they did it one time so this is totally new since i've been here this is a uh, memorial book from uh, mr ray Kroc here so what's cool about that is i believe this some of this might be from his personal display even this creepy ass McDonald's clown right there. Mm. Well, you could pause the screen and read that if you want, but it looks like a little letter from someone cool. Thousand dollar photograph signed by Ronald McDonald or Richard McDonald. Sorry, I'm thinking of the clown for some reason. Damn Hercules. Damn a little shirt that I could basically 
kid for some permanent delinquent if I was able to get it. Can you imagine him doing a wheelie in that shirt? That'd be fire as fuck. Damn, an OG Tamagotchi. Like, literally an OG one. That is awesome. I used to actually have one of those back then, I ain't gonna lie. I used to walk around with that shit and watch it take shits in my pocket. That was like the OG keychain that would take shits in your pocket. You can literally see all the dick beater grime on there. <laughs> the quack pack all duck band. I think that was back when they had Coke and Coca-Cola still. MTV Cribs McDonald's edition. Oh, that's cool. They have a um a DVD called Michael Keaton the Founder about the place. And then down here they have the original grill scraper used in the movie. Yeah, you want to see all that cool ass fucking McDonald's patty dirt that was still stuck to the spatula? Well, check that out. That's historic. That's historic patty dirt there. And then for those of you that grew up in the uh, 80s and 90s, you'll definitely notice tons of these little characters. Tons and tons of them. Ooh, and then the Furby. Man, those Omni trams bus drivers were fucking styling back then. Damn, look at that. They were like swagging on the bus. The grand opening of the place. The contents within this display case are the remnant pieces of the McDonald's restaurant that Ray and Croc built just one block up the road on 15th and E Street. The building was demolished in 2003. Oh, it's like the Berlin Wall, but with McDonald's building pieces. And for those of you screen pausers, go ahead and pause the screen and read that. And for you serious screen pausers, you could read this. And for you OG Looney Tune fans, yeah. Yeah. Damn, back then, man, people were dropping that yen for some McDonald's, man. They literally had a Flintstone thing called Rock Donald's. <laughs> I like this little display behind me because it's kind of like historic toys and shit. Word around the office is there's actually cocaine in this Coke. And if you guys are familiar with uh, Dad's classic cream pie soda, they got classic bottles of that. Damn, straight up Lugia. Just chilling there. I know what Lugia is. I ain't gonna lie, I've seen Happy Meals nowadays. Like when you go to places. And kids today got shit stuff in their uh, Happy Meals. Back then, man, you used to get, you used to get Fuego. I remember Rugrats watches that you could like scratch and sniff and shit. Good old Dick McDonald at 1992 Grand Opening San Bernardino. Some more classic toys for you guys that remember this shit from back in the day. Got Long's drugs, and even more classic toys from back in the day. Holy shit, McDonald's really went balls deep with the fucking. The toy game, please tell me that's not the clown from Scary Movie 2 that wrapped his dick around Ray's neck and pulled him onto the bed and then made him jump out from the back and bottom like a cuckoo clock. There's a little balloon animal! <laughs> it's kind of cool that it shows you like the countries that these things come from, like Scotland, and kind of shows you what kind of shit they get. What the fuck is straight up french fry snack maker OG mini tray? You straight up fucking cook up some mini sliders and serve them like a McDonald's, that's tight. Someone even wrote a romantic love story about McDonald's. And another rundown of even more classic toys. Then we got England, Netherlands, Turkey. I don't really remember this much from last time being here. They really organized it really well. 
this part of the place is pretty cool too. They got little like, like the promos and the advertisements and shit from the other countries. And right here, a horrifying, <laughs> horrifying statue of Grimace. Here's another one for you screen pausers. So in the 70s when you brought your little fucking shitty and grin baby to the McDonald's is the shit you had a cinnamon. Oh man, the TY Beanie Babies. I remember the shit out of those things. These things were a phenomenon when I was growing up. back when shit was made well made with heavy metals that last forever there would literally be praying mantises with mandingo tips roaming the earth and writing it and these things will still be here existing damn we should have got pimp day ronald mcdonald look at that back in his pimp days look at that mug that's a mug of a clown that just got some paint and some sugar tits that would actually be really cool if they brought these kinds of boxes back. Like a vintage box thing for modern day. Those vintage things look badass, man. I wouldn't mind getting a burger in those boxes. And over here we got fries that are probably like older than all of you guys watching the video. Mm, wait a second. In 1978, Ronald McDonald, along with the teaching kids the value of using a tie and zipper. Put a whistle in Ronald's mouth, squeeze his mood. Get the fuck out of here with that. Like, I legit don't even like to eat McDonald's anymore. Like, it's fucking disgusting. But I would literally sport that shirt. That shit is fire. I think this is a real breakfast and real desserts. And they literally still look fresh. That's actually really terrifying. I don't think I'm going to eat McDonald's even that much more now. There's no way that's real. There's no way that's real. How much you have to be paid to eat that? The whole thing. Damn, look at the OGS Gillette razor. That's tight. Shave your nuts in the 60s with that shit. Sorry for having to be quiet in there, guys, but actually, this is the offices for uh, Juan Pollo, which, as you can see, Juan Pollo, it's the, it's like a, if you guys are familiar with El Pollo Loco, it's like the same shit. If you guys don't know what that is, it's literally just like a fast food place with chicken and stuff. Pretty fire. But, uh, yes, this is the original sign. You guys probably seen this on the last video, and yada, yada, yada. And I'm hoping that that just got moved and not stolen. But, uh,. That fucking, there was a mural here that said some shit, and let's hope some asshole didn't steal it. And here's another one for you screen pausers. And another one for you screen pausers. Right here you got Officer Big Mac up in this bitch. Doing all kinds of Officer Big Mac shit. Smothering you with his fucking cheesy nutsack. And another thing, here's the site of the original McDonald's. It gives you the hours of uh, admission, and the coolest thing is it's free. Another one for you screen pausers out there. And another one for you screen pausers out there. How fire would it be to like set up a couple half stacks and drum set and do literally like a fucking metal core death metal show right here in front of McDonald's? Can you imagine how cool that would look just driving by and seeing that shit? Now when I was walking out, the guy in there told me it was a guy that was different from last time. I wish the other guy was here because he was like a lot more helpful with me. He wouldn't let me in the back because the Juan Pollo offices are um dirty he said so but um i don't ever remember giving you guys some cool back mural action and another side note he says i was quote unquote a week too late because kevin um well i just already forgot the name and he just said it to me kevin something the creator of ninja turtles actually was here last week and uh did some artwork in the back so 
That artwork you saw in the beginning is um, done by the creator of Ninja Turtles. So they literally had like Simpsons artwork from the Simpsons creator and now um, that, and look at that's how, that's how detailed this mural is. Cause there's Fender guitars in Corona, California, which is literally only like 20 miles away. Really close. I could never find a, like, a legit place to go get a tour there. Oh my god, if I can get a, go to the Fender factory, I'd be all over that. And this really is the most detailed mural because look at this. They have literally all these businesses on here. These are real, real life businesses right here. And we even have a Mattel toy store and everything. That's funny. And more of the little shit that little farts could sit in and play in. And we got the Etiwanda eggplant before it became a dick symbol on your iPhones and Androids. So yeah, now I want to get a better look at this now that I know the creator of Ninja Turtles did it. What the fuck? So those of you uh, Ninja Turtle fans can check that shit out. We got a dope ass little mystery machine from good old Scooby Doo. It's actually really well done. I'm shocked no one's driving this. I don't know if you can actually see inside or not. I'm doing a photo shoot on that fucking peace car. So, Homeboy told me that, um,. That they have a second office, and now this I've never been to. It's on Fifth Street in Mount Vernon, and it's an actual Wampoil restaurant with the um, an added museum in the back of that. And I never even been there. Unfortunately for the military museum, I don't think it's as extravagant as this place, like detail-wise and how much stuff's in it. But that's not to say there's not some cool shit inside. But unfortunately, I think they're closed right now. We got a cool ass like truck that I probably would have been all over as a kid playing with. Yeah, they're like legitimately closed. If you guys could see in there, there's like a generalization of what you can expect to see. It's a bunch of war memorial memorabilia. But I guess that's a perfect um, segue into asking you guys if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. I'll go there in a separate video and show you guys the military museum. But I wanted to share like some extra shit here that they've added and um, if you guys want to see a more uh, detailed version of the front end you can watch the uh, other video it's pretty much the exact same so um, yeah if you missed the other video go ahead and check that out I'll put it on the pinned comment and uh, this one will be a more detailed version of the added cases in the back and everything that we saw and over there we got a sexy uh, ZX-10R oh yeah let's get back on the bike yeah man the fucking dude inside I was like I was like, dude, do you mind if I put my helmet behind the desk? And he goes, oh, yeah. And I go, do you mind if I put it down? Because, you know, there's wires and shit. And then he, like, was looking at me like he didn't hear me or whatever. So I was like, all right, here you go. And then he grabs my um, my helmet and puts it, like, visor down on a 24-pack of, like, a bottles of water. And literally, like, <laughs> starts rolling it around until it stays put on top of the water. I'm like, dude, what the... <laughs> what up man you're like ruining my visor man mike prevel just like was nice enough to send this and you're like just scratching that shit but guys if you like that audio you heard on the video it's a uh, the good old Rode smart lav plus this man this thing is tremendous and then if you have an iphone 7 plus which i do or have to use these extenders because they fucking are homoerotic the apple company and took the headphone jack off then you use this and plug it straight in you got bomb ass audio checking out the good old mcchia the mcchia yeah. They have they have McChia burgers inside and like old ones and stuff. It's cool and really? old food that's that's been sitting in cases for God knows how long. Really? And it looks the same, ironically, which is kind of bad. <laughs> it doesn't your gut. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Makes me don't want to eat it here. I was just gonna ask you if it made you made you hungry or not. Well, actually, I, I made me less of less loving of McDonald's after seeing yeah. that. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Oh, those guys are nice. Let's get Nero looking at me with his, with those perfect red eyes. Look at that. 
<laughs> I love this keychain because you guys can't see it, but this was literally my face the whole time I'm moto vlogging. Every time I'm just moto vlogging and I'm just looking straight and talking to you guys, this is my face right here in between me talking. So that place was kind of cool. They they did add quite a little few things there. If you guys haven't gone there yet, then I think uh, you know if you're local, I wouldn't go way out of my way to check it out. But oh hey. I'm gonna go out of my way to check it out, but if you guys are like, you know, 20, 30, 40 miles away, or you just want to take a ride and check it out, I mean, it's it's interesting, you know, if, you, if you're a McDonald's lover, if you're getting those biscuits and hash browns every morning, and you want to see like the origin of those good biscuits and hash browns, or maybe see some biscuits and hash browns from like the 1940s that were fucking cooked up in Ronald McDonald's ass cheeks in a hot summer day in San Bernardino, then, um, I mean, if you're into that shit, it's right there in your face here in San Bernardino. Or AKA San Bernardino. I'm trying to take streets back. We're taking them freeways. Feels so good outside. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, if you enjoyed seeing the origins of one of the scariest fucking clowns in existence, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Well, if you are interested in seeing that little IE military museum, let me know. I'll fucking definitely swing back by there and make a video of that. As always, links are in the description if you want to support your boy and grab one of these, one of my Teespring shirts. That's the best way to support a cunt like me. Check me out on Twitch. I'm Twitch streaming a lot. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the fuck out of that like button. You guys have a real good day. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> well, you know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's that time that the video comes to an end as you sit there with your blinds open, moonlight gazing on those erect nipples, mismatched in erectness, left one at 72%, right one at 83%, you realize I still need some more BXD in my life. As you sit there helplessly wondering when I'm gonna get another dose of that D, you realize it's gonna be real soon because you know I never leave you hanging. See you next time. Yeah.